All right, guys, welcome back to Our World Outdoors. So today we're in beautiful Clear Creek Metro Park, hanging out, doing a little walking around, just enjoying the day. Now, one thing you need to know about me is I'm kind of a snob when it comes to coffee. Kind of? Kind of. We'll say kind of and put it in a real nice happy face, bundle it up in a package and smile about it because when I'm out on the trail, if I don't have coffee, I can get a little bit grumpy sometimes. But nothing bothers me more than instant coffee. I'm not a fan of instant coffee, guys. I'm just not. Now, I will drink it, but the moment it goes cold, it's gross. It's nasty. But my wife, who generally makes my coffee on the trail, has come to the realization that she needs to find a new way to do it in order to not have to deal with me, but yet get my lazy butt out of camp faster in the morning or out on the trail earlier in the morning. So, I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> so, sometimes in the morning, we don't always have time to just sit around camp and be able to brew our coffee or heat up water or maybe we have an instant breakfast to where we don't even want to get the stove out so this is going to be an option other than that so today we are going to go creekside and i am going to show you how i make our instant cold coffee all right guys so the first step in making good cold coffee on the trail is you're going to need some cold water you can filter your water the night before, but it's not going to be as good. So if you have a stream nearby, it's always better to just go ahead and filter first thing in the morning because it's going to be just a little bit colder for you. So you want to make for sure that you are properly filtering your water. Don't just take it out of the stream. Make for sure that you know you're filling up your bottle, putting your filter on and actually filtering it. Make sure you wipe your bottle off. It's very important where you're filtering water that you wipe the outside of your bottle off to make sure that you don't get any contaminants into your water. So I want to make sure that you know you're doing that correctly. Um, it's going to be slightly colder which is going to make your coffee much nicer. Okay so the next step is is you want to have your coffee ready. Now as you can see we take it in little containers because that is one serving. What we use is instant coffee i use either folgers or nescafe you can use whatever your favorite brand of instant coffee is that is just what i found that works really well with dissolving with the cold water you also are going to use your favorite powdered creamer that way you can take it out on the trail for multiple days at a time and it's not going to spoil or anything we prefer to use the walmart brand sugar-free hazelnut or french vanilla that is the two that we use the most often we've gotten it from a couple other stores and didn't care for it as much as those two so that's what i use now the recipe for it is very very easy it is actually two tablespoons of your favorite instant coffee and two tablespoons of your favorite powdered creamer to approximately 16 ounces of water so that's going to make you like a double cup for what you would normally drink as a regular cup however i find that whenever i have cold coffee i tend to drink a lot more of it so so the last step in the process now that you have your water and your coffee mixture into the bottle is just to shake your bottle vigorously until everything is mixed well and then it's ready to drink that's good so as you can see solutions that are brought by my issues can improve your backpacking skills exponentially you got to find what works for you and what you enjoy while out on the trail it's the small things in life the creature comforts especially ones like this that don't add a lot of weight to your pack that can bring more enjoyment to your trip without making it harder for me I love coffee all day, every day. I mean, I would literally drink it all day, every day, and nothing else if possible. Does drink it all day, every day. Well, I wouldn't want to admit to that. I'm sure my doctor probably wouldn't like it. But the reality is, you gotta enjoy yourself. And this is one way that I've found that works for me. 
And that's only through my wife figuring it out so she doesn't have to deal with me being grumpy about it. And now I can get him out on the trail way earlier in the morning. Because I can just fix it, throw it at him and say, we're packed up, let's go. Yep, so, you know, necessity brought something great. And I appreciate it, honey. But, once again, when you're here with us at Our World Outdoors, we're always trying to find cost-effective ways to make our time out on the trail more enjoyable. And my wife's always trying to find ways to deal with my bad attitude. But if you haven't already, go down, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you see all of our upcoming videos. Make sure you like, give comment, us a up. and if nothing else, give my wife a thumbs up for having to deal with me. And honey, what are we gonna do? See you up the trail. All right, now this is my coffee. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> what are you doing? Mine. It's my Mine. Coffee. You should learn to share. Never. <laughs>